Hey hi this is Mr Secoder I'm back with another video related to bit manipulation and this is going to be an interesting problem The problem statement is uh, like you are given a number n you need to count the total number of said bits in all numbers from 1 to n both inclusively So for example if you are given 4 Uh, the binary representation of uh, numbers from 1 to 4 is uh, this right so from these you need to find all the set bits uh, count okay so here the total number of set bits are 5 so you need to return 5 similarly if you take uh, the numbers from 1 to 17 inclusively they will contain um, the set bits of uh, count 35 okay you need to print that So the expected uh, time complexity is big of log n, and the expected space complexity is big of one, and the constraints are one is in between one and ten power eight. So this is an interesting problem. So the first idea that might come to your mind, which is maybe a brute force solution, is to iterate from one to n, and for each number count the number of set bits in that specific number, right? So if you don't know how to count the number of uh, set bits in a specific number we have already made a video please check that out So that would take a complexity of big O of n log n because uh, n because you are iterating for each number from 1 to n and to count the number of set bits it would take log n so total time complexity of that solution will be n log n So we can do much better Uh, within the expected time and space complexity so i highly recommend you to pause this video now and think how to solve this problem when you are done and pause this video and go through the solution so without wasting your time let's get started Here I have written the binary representation of all numbers from zero to thirteen. So let's say the given number be eleven. Let's say the given number is eleven. So you need to count all the set bits from zero to eleven. Okay, that is nothing but to count all set bits from one to eleven. So, so if you observe one thing, if you if you observe some value. which is having some power like 2 power x something like that okay so if you observe some value the, just before that value if you count all the set bits from 0 to uh, one value just before that uh, 2 power x form which you, so if you, if you observe that so you know in every column okay in every column if you observe till all the set bits are set okay so in just before 2 power x all the bits were set right so here all the three bits were set so if you observe in each column or oh, in the in the 0th column from the right first it will come 0 and then 1 and then it will flip it to 0 you know the same 0 and 1 pattern repeats in the second column two zeros two ones two zeros two ones pattern repeats in the third column four zeros four ones column pattern repeats in the fifth column you know eight zeros eight ones column you know and that pattern repeats so if you consider such a number where uh, at the end all the bits are set in that case the pattern completes till that point in that case what you can infer is uh, If if you count the number of set bits in each column till that uh, number, you'll see that it will be half ones and half zero. Even if you consider the second column from the right, you can see half zeros, half ones. Okay, so here you have a total of uh, eight eight uh, rows. Among them, half uh, which is four are zeros and four are ones in every column. You know till. Uh, Uh, right most to three columns okay so okay that was clear right so if if you given some n then you can uh, find out the nearest to 2 power x which is less than n and from there you can find the number of set bits here okay so the what what will be the number of set bits uh, of this form 
you, you can find it easily like each column will having a or uh, each column will having half set bits so how many uh, rows you have in each column you know this is nothing but uh, two power x right uh, why because this value is two power x it's starting from zero and zero to one less than this number is nothing but uh, two power x right so you'll have two power x rows till this point here the x here for example here uh, the x is uh, 3 right uh, 2 power 3 which is uh, 8 so here you'll be having uh, 8, eight uh, rows here so among those 8 rows half of them are uh, ones and half of them are zero since we only need ones count so the ones count in each column will be half like 2 power uh, x by 2 so and uh, how many columns we have here which is nothing but uh, uh, x minus 1 x is a leftmost set bit position here and one before this all the bits will be set till x minus uh, 1 bits right so this uh, is nothing but 3 you'll have x columns here so so since each column will having a 2 power x by 2 1 so for x columns you'll have x into 2 power x by 2 so these are the number of set bits still uh, one value less than 2 power x okay so now we need to calculate uh, these set bits right okay so if you if you look at this so this, this all will be ones right so so how many ones do you have here this is nothing but this n minus 2 power x value which is this plus 1 okay so that was clear and if you observe if you observe here clearly so this whatever the red uh, rectangular box that i had drawn this is uh, nothing but another sub problem like uh, you can consider this as another sub problem where the number was uh, 3 you know the number was 3 here so the pattern is uh, 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 right so the sub problem is uh, finding the number of set bits from 0 to 3 it's kind of another sub problem so we, we can solve in a similar fashion as we solve this now now so now the problem is breaking down broken down into three parts one part is uh, finding the number of set bits still uh, the nearest two power x form you know this one and uh, calculating these number of ones and this part okay so so if you if you if you try to uh, put it into a formula then this will be so the number of set bits uh, total set bits uh, that we need to calculate will be x into where x is a leftmost set bit position of uh, given n okay if they all for considering starting from zero from the right so that will be a leftmost set bit position here it's a uh, uh, third position zero one two three right it's a third position so into which is into two power x by two so you can consider this as uh, two power x by 2 so these are the total number of bits that you are getting here plus so these bits you know we need to calculate these bits right this is nothing but uh, n minus 2 power x plus 1 so those many rows so those many ones so this is nothing but uh, this n minus uh, 2 power x plus 1 set bits in this uh, right leftmost uh, column okay and uh, we need to solve this sub, sub problem for this okay so it's nothing but uh, total of uh, set bits for uh, this when we turn it off this is nothing but if we turn off the leftmost uh, set bit then that's the value that we need to calculate for the sub problem so let's say here this is one zero double one right so so the sub problem uh, will be broken down into oh you know this one right 
it's nothing but the turning of the leftmost uh, set bit okay you turn off the leftmost set bit this is a sub problem we need to calculate so how to turn off the leftmost set bit so if you have uh, some bit here in order to turn off the leftmost set bit uh, you can consider uh, you know you can consider in this way negation of one shifted left shifted by this x okay so which is one what is one shifted by x that is nothing but uh, if here if you consider uh, 3 as x so one shifted by 3 will be this and negation of uh, this will be 0 1 1 1 so if you are doing an under operation with this uh, if you perform this under operation with this then this will be 0 1 1 1 right so if this is 0 it will be 0 if these are ones so this will be same as uh, this nth position so you will get this this is nothing but turning of a uh, leftmost set bit okay so what you're going to do it here is um, here let me scroll down a bit okay here this will be n and negation of one shifted by x okay this is negation of one shifted by x okay so this is a sub problem n that we need to solve okay so before getting into code i would like to uh, tell one step so we, we need not like let's say if we if you're uh, if you have a uh, this okay this is the n that was given so what you do initially you'll try to get the leftmost set bit and uh, depending upon that you will break till this point and you'll calculate this and then calculate this ones and then break down into this sub problem right so again in this sub problem how you're going to get the last uh, last set bit again will you again traverse from left to right to uh, get the uh, leftmost set bit no that will be a, a time like you know that will take uh, a bit more time okay so instead of uh, again and again calculating uh, the leftmost set bit from the right to left we can go from left to right okay so what i'm telling is uh, if, if you have in this number right so in the previous iteration we know this is a x the position which is a leftmost set bit if you turn off this set bit now the leftmost set bit you can find by iterating from right itself okay you will reduce this x by one and you will check if this is a, a set bit if that was a set bit then that will be a right, leftmost uh, set bit okay so in code you will uh, understand it clearly so let's get into the code so this is the code so initially we set the count to zero so we need to get the leftmost set bit position so how we are going to get that if you need to find the leftmost set bit position of this so what you're going to do is we are going to right shift operation on it by one so and when you perform a right shift operation by one uh, the result that you get is uh, this all these bits will be moved one bit to right so you'll get uh, this value so you do you perform again the right shift operation till so you again do the right shift operation and then you will get this value you again do a right shift operation and you will again get this value and again you do a right shift operation you get this okay and when you do this uh, for the last time you will get zero so what you can infer from this so when you performing this uh, right shift operations when the value becomes zero so the number of iterations is nothing but a position of this uh, said leftmost set bit position if you consider from zero one two three four that's a fourth uh, bit position from right so that that's what uh, we are doing in this code now so here we are doing the same so initially we set the position to minus one uh, because one minus iteration will give you the actual uh, position okay so here you increment the position and uh, you do a right shift operation okay so you do it until n is exhausted and you'll return the leftmost set bit position 
and from now uh, so as you as you have seen so so one shifted by x will be the nearest to power uh, x right which is less than n so as we have seen here this is the formula that uh, we get which is a number of uh, set bits in before the nearest to power x okay so that's what we are calculating here and then this is the n minus 1 shifted by x plus 1 is nothing but uh, these bits count okay so this is n minus 2 power x plus uh, 1 okay these are the bits that we are counting now and the sub problem will break down into uh, the new n so, okay so the new n will be n and negation of 1 shifted by uh, 1 left shift by x so why we this is nothing but a uh, and setting the leftmost set bit okay it's nothing but turning off the leftmost set bit so here we are when we turn off the leftmost set bit so it will be it will break down into the sub problem here okay so we are getting that sub problem in. now we need to set the leftmost set bit position that is x of uh, new n right so for that what we are doing we are checking if uh, uh, so you know we are moving this x one by one to the right and checking if that bit position is set or not so let's say if uh, the current n is in this way and if current x is here and we are now uh, we are now un turning off this uh, leftmost uh, set bit right so we'll move the x one step here and we'll check if this is one if this is not one we'll again move this here so if this is one so we'll move this x here this is a, this will become the leftmost set bit of a new n right so that's what we are doing here so we are checking if this current uh, x position is set or not if that's the case we reach it that uh, leftmost set bit position if that's not the case we'll decrement the x and uh, if n becomes zero which is which means there is no set bit at all in the n right so that's how we are optimally calculating the leftmost set bit of the next iteration in okay so that's what you're doing here so this is nothing but this while loop will do all the sub problems okay so that's how we calculated the number of set bits uh, from 1 to n efficiently let's analyze the time complexity this function would take uh, log n time which uh, is nothing but it will iterate only through the number of uh, bits in a specific number so this will take a view of uh, login okay and this loop will also take a big of login why because uh, this here we are turning off the leftmost set bit in each iteration and here we are uh, you know this goes along with n where uh, it tries to get the leftmost z bit of the next uh, n you know so this this will also take a big of log in time so total time complexity would be big of log in and coming to space complexity we are using constant space just to store rex and count you know so obviously the space complexity would be big of one so yeah i think you like this video and you get the logic so if you're new to this channel please subscribe to this channel so if you like this video please like and share this video so i'll i'll put the link of this problem and description the code in my blog post and i'll put my blog post link in the description below so please check that out and use that uh, as a reference so yeah if you have any doubts or comments or suggestions please comment in the comment section below i hope you like this video yeah or uh, till the next video bye bye and stay safe